Welcome everyone. As a provider, how do you currently receive payments within your childcare business? Is it through an app or by cash? Do you use cash or check for, or even credit or debit cards? Um, or even maybe you're still doing research on this piece um, for your business when it comes to receiving payments from your families. And that's exactly what we're going to be covering today. Welcome everybody to this week's What's Up Wednesday. Today we had Corey West with us for her childcare. She's going to be talking about how the billing module through ELB's Alliance Corps has been beneficial to you. So thank you so much. We appreciate your time today and welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Glad course. to be here. Awesome. So just to get us started, tell us a little bit about your role as owner and just kind of overall childcare experience with your home here. I have owned and operated my own family child care in El Paso County, Colorado Springs, Colorado for the last 10 years. Um, I've been in the, the child care industry for about 20 years now. Okay. Those years add up. I feel like they go by so quick sometimes. <laughs> yes, they do. So tell us a little bit about how long you've used ELB's Alliance Core and um, if you used any systems before that at all. So I started using the Alliance Core system in January. I did it January 1st, so it was easy for tax, easy for the new families, new year. Um, I have used other things like Zelle or Square, um, not necessarily where it processes, it processes a payment, but it doesn't really keep track of it as much. Gotcha. Okay. So it's kind of been a one stop for you to switch over and use. Yes. So yes, you mentioned, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> no, go ahead. Um, yeah. So obviously it's about the billing module today. So kind of tell us about how that's worked for you. Um, any pros and cons kind of break down that for people who are totally new, maybe to ELB and even the PIA billing module itself. So it was a, it was a little bumpy at first mm -hmm. trying to figure out how to get everybody scheduled. Um, I don't have a one set payment. I, all my parents are on different payment schedules. So I have some <laughs> weekly, I have some bi-weekly. I have some that do monthly. Um, so you guys have been, ELB has been great. My, my, the person that helps me has been wonderful with sitting down with me and going through everything and helping me set up everybody's own payment plans to siblings being on the same payment plan and to other children being on different weeks. And everybody at Paya that I've had, when I've had to call has been really helpful, just gets Good. me the information I need. Um, I never feel like I've had to wait really long with them on the phone. So Perfect. Yeah, you increase your Ava. I don't really know who you work with yeah. most, but yeah, they're great. So that's awesome that you had such kind of a okay, a good success story with that. Um, yes. So you touched on that a little bit. So based on the individual billing cycles, um, it's just, they're they're all different. It's not consistent. Across they're all your, different, yeah. not consistent, but it still works out great because I know who's going to pay me, who's not. Um, one hiccup I had, one of my biggest hiccups, I would say, is I accidentally approved an account, uh, one of the <laughs> accounts before it was supposed to be. So it got taken out a little bit earlier out of a parent's pay. But through communication, we talked about it and it worked out fine. But yeah, I think it was there, but you worked through it. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Um, you don't mentioned Zelle. So did you use anything else before um, for billing processes prior to January? Um, I did Square. I would take oh, credit right. cards okay. through Square. Um, I used that for about three years. It was good. Oh. But I always had to do the back end of the tax paperwork. Always had to figure out who paid what, how much, set it up. Much harder to set up as far as individual payments. Um, if I was going to charge a late fee, who that late fee actually went to, where with this, I don't even have to mess with that. It automatically gets sent to the parents. Um, <laughs> I don't even have to fight with them now on it because if they pick up late, it actually already automatically charges them my late fee. I was going to say, gonna say um, yeah. that enabling extended hours auto billing on that, that's a huge way to maximize income. And some people aren't aware of that at all. So that's nice that that's worked for you. And it, it's turned into a huge stress relief for me because now I'm not fighting with parents about payment or why they have to, how much extra money they give me. They're automatically billed for it. They're given, they're sent an invoice. Um, I have already had a parent have to pay a late fee when they asked me why. And I said, well, you clocked out late. <laughs> well, can we talk about that? Nope. Sorry. It's already been built. Yeah. No yeah. questions asked. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Which has been nice. And it's easy. So it's some, I've had to give some credit to, to some of my parents. It was very easy to go in, apply the credit, say what the credit was for, and then it be taken off their bill automatically. 
yeah, yeah. You can always be able to do anything before it gets launched essentially yeah that's yep. great um do you have any tips or suggestions for other providers in the area or even because we're nationally expanding so we're in quite a few states now across the u.s um for anybody who hasn't found a system that works for them regarding kind of billing and payment tracking I love this system because it's set up for childcare. Right. Other right. systems are not, they're just set up for businesses. They're set up for items for, you know, a store or, you know, a food truck where this is actually set up individualized. I can change how much one parent pays over another parent. So if they, if somebody's getting a discount, right. Um, right. it's easy to just sign them in, sign them out. Once a week, I check everybody's invoices, tells me when they've been paid. And yeah, it's and they, huge stress relief. Oh my gosh, for sure. They have access to the parent portal to change or delete credit cards on their own and reassign one time charges and recurring. So the flexibility on their end. Yeah. It's very nice. Even so, if they haven't paid, when they go to check in the child, it'll actually pop up a reminder, hey, you still owe childcare. And they have to actually push that and then check them in so that they know. They have to I know they're <laughs> they know they're they're late on their payment it'll automatically put a late payment fee on it if they're past a certain date yeah which yeah. is also nice so the reporting so, kind of keeping up yeah. with that kind of thing is all great yeah so other than billing kind of what's one of the more useful pieces of core for you right now at this time one of the most things i'm excited about is because i just got done doing everybody's tax statements is the fact that I won't even have to do that next year. Next year, <laughs> all the parents automatically get the tax statement sent to their email and I'm good to go. I don't have to worry about who's got it, who I have to track down and call or who's gonna call me in six months saying, hey, I need this information. It'll right, just be right. sent to them automatically. They're even not even in my care anymore. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's great. You kind of backdated in that way. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, is there anything right now ELV can be doing more for you during this time with the pandemic and the new year going forward? Any support that you aren't getting right now that you need? I think you guys have been great. You always reached out, asked me if I needed help. Um, anytime I need help, you guys are willing to to step up and help me. And I, I have not been a huge fan of programs that work specifically with childcare just because of the price point and, and stuff like that. But you guys are awesome. It's a flat fee. I can get whatever uses I need out of it. I know you're working on a, a more of a daily contact yep. also. So, and once that's added, you guys will be good to go. Once I yeah, love yeah. this program. Within a couple of months, hopefully one to two at the most, we'll be kind of doing a mass media share of all of that. So the two-way communication, that reporting contact pieces, um, yeah, it's going to be huge. And we've really, it's been on our list, our to-do list for like a year. So we're very excited about that. So kind of keep an eye out and you'll be informed. Just, just had my licensing inspection too. I can't give you guys enough kudos. It was a new <laughs> licensing specialist. So when I replied to her that I was an ELV provider, she could find everything through there. She was like, well, I've heard about the program. So I contacted my person for ELV, Tracy, and she helped me reach out to the provider, said, hey, here, here's someone that you can contact. We're going to walk you through how to get all of her paperwork so that you can do it for her and all of your other providers. It took me maybe 15 minutes yeah, to do yeah. all the paperworking stuff for, for my licensing. So, and they just hey, log in and they know. What they the log in. And she can game. she can pull all my information, um, look at all my paperwork before we ever have the inspection. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. It's just wild that not everybody is even informed of the need of a virtual system when especially now during the pandemic when things are virtual. It's so crucial. I don't know. It's just it's 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 wild to me that the the importance isn't to everybody just yet, but we're getting there. <laughs> we're good. I was one of your when you guys first came out, I was like, uh, who needs that? You know, I've been doing this for so long. I got it. And then I thought, okay, I want to do something different with billing because right. billing has always been just, I'm dyslexic. So doing numbers anyways, doesn't work well for me. So I always needed to, I was always looking for that perfect fit. So I was like, I'll give you guys a try, see how it goes. I mean, I'm already, I was paying square money. It's tax deductible. Plus, I can actually put on a convenience fee with you guys. So when they do pay that, I'm not paying all of it. Correct. Um, 
And I'm just, I'm in love with your program. I, I've <laughs> done nothing but talk about it to other providers. I keep telling them they need to enroll. Um, if you're, if you're part of ELV, but you're hesitant about the billing, it's been great. It was well worth it because I don't have to have that common, that there's, there's no longer that payment part between me and my parents. Right. right. It's sent to them. They pay it. We're good. So and that conversation is sometimes hard to have, especially with maybe friends and family of kids that you're watching. So definitely understandable. So we, yeah, we're just thrilled of your success story. So um, yeah, just to wrap up here, I don't want to take up too, too much of your time today. Um, but if there's any kind of last minute thoughts or overall feedback or um, updates that you want to share for our watching or for our network watching today, we'd be happy to hear them. It's a great network. Um, <laughs> I really recommend the payment part of it. I know a lot of providers are hesitant with it, but it has reduced so much stress off my plate just within the last two months. Right. I, right. I can tell a difference. Yeah, that's awesome. And if you ever need anything down the road, you know where to find us. Give Tracy a call and we'll we'll be there for you in any ways we can. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. You guys are great. Have a good right. one. Bye. Bye.